then then welcome back to Scott and Wanda's world. Um, hope you're keeping it very well. How's your week going? Is anything exciting happening? Um, been over to Sainsbury's. My good friend Dean alerted me to the fact that there are some new beers into Sainsbury's. Don't go to Sainsbury's. It's the one that we've got is just on the outskirts of Portsmouth. Um, oh, just a lazy bastard. <laughs> Don't go, go there very often. They've got some new stuff. Um, got that new Brewdog one. There's a Vocation Stout. Uh, there's a Lervig, a Pale Ale, and there's other bits of pieces. So get yourself off to Sainsbury's if you've got a little bit of spare cash in your in your, um, in your pocket and you like trying new beers. Then you can pop over and have a, uh, have a word of them. We're going to go and have a word of them. They might talk to you. They might think you're a bit mad. But yeah, um, go and have a look. See what they've got. Only pick this beer up because of the two breweries that are actually involved in the beer. So it's made, I'm assuming, at Salt up in Yorkshire, but it's in collaboration with Wild Beer in Bristol, who I've got a lot of time for both of these breweries, both make fantastic beers. And this is, we challenge you to a hop off. And it's their mountain IPA coming in at 7.2%. The standard, although I know um, I was watching Paul's beer reviews the other day, I'm sure you won't mind me mentioning him, uh, they've just changed their brew their um their packaging so they're bringing out the honeycomb effect a little bit more so it just stands out a bit more boldly which actually the can that i saw that you reviewed it's their new one um it looked quite nice um so yeah this is a mountain ipa and it says it's hazy and hoppy at 7.2 percent another one in the range from sainsbury's three pound fifty which i think is probably their standard price point these days uh, like the cannot, pretty standard, I say, from the old sort of sort of stuff. As I said, I know um, Paul's mentioned that they've just changed it. So um, if you haven't seen Paul's review, go and give him some love. Uh, and it says on the side, and I quote, uh, a collaboration with our good friends, the Wild Beer Company. Uh, I think the last Wild Beer I had was Roll With It, which was in collaboration with um, Robbie Knox's brewery, um, Big Day. Nice bit. Uh, this mountain IPA is inspired by the classic West Coast bitterness and East Coast juiciness. So, for people that don't know what a mountain IPA is, obviously, West Coast and East Coast come from the, the coasts of the United States of uh, America. Um, so, West Coast comes from over on the West Coast, and East Coast, funnily enough, comes from the East Coast. And this sort of molds both coasts together no coast ipas mountain ipas so you get the bitterness from the west coast the juiciness from the, the east coast history lesson over um of some of our favorite american beer styles showcasing idaho seven and strad hops leading to notes of juicy stone fruit and pine followed by a classic bitter finish Fucking better do. i've got a salt glass I'm no heathen. I'll just clean my glass out. Fucking clean on. Right, here we go. So I'm expecting it to look like um, a New England IPA, but hopefully with the um, bitterness of a West Coast IPA. If it isn't, I'm going to lose my shit. Bam. So the glass, it looks, it looks, it looks New England IPA all the way. Um, lovely, hazy, orangey colour. One thing, oh, half a finger of um, tight white head on the top. It looks really nice. Awesome. Should we go for a nose? That's what we're here for. Yeah, so you're getting the stone fruits, you're getting them some peach, some mango, passion fruit. There, there's the, the subtlest, I do mean the subtle, very, very subtle in the pine. But it just smells like a, a tropical fruit bomb. Cheers. Don't be fucking bitter. I'm bitter. You better be. Mm. 
Positives. Um, nice creamy body. I'm assuming there's some oats in there. Uh, water, malted barley, oats, wheat, hops, yeast. So the, the oats are packing the beer out quite nicely. Gives it a nice, um, gives it a nice body. It's fruity. So you're getting the flavors from those hops. So the, 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 the idea of Sebra and the Strata to give it that, that nice stone fruit flavor. So you get the peach, um, a mango, you're getting some, uh, a bit of a burp. And, and there is a little bit of, um, sorry, it's a passion fruit as well. Um, <coughs> and there is the slightest hint of the pine right and it almost dies away those flavors die away until that actually kicks in right at the end it's soft like a new england ipa there's no sign of the bitterness from the west coast ipa um which is a bit sad in all honesty um but it doesn't ruin the beer. It, see that, after, how long ago, that's now cloying my mouth, the, that, that little bit of pine. Um, by, by a classic bitter finish. For me, and it's just my personal uh, preference, that bitterness at the end isn't enough. I wanted it more. Uh, so you've got all of the, the New England style up front. Soft pillowy mouthfeel, um, nice juicy flavours from the hops and the yeast um, and the malts. And then you then I want that, that bitterness to kick in and the pine to kick in at the end as a West Coast would do. But it doesn't do that. The pine kicks in a little bit but not enough for me and that, that that bitterness doesn't come really at all um which is a bit of a disappointment um 7.2 percent abv there is a hint of that there is a hint of that 7.2 percent um it's quite warm in here which i quite like i'm not gonna I'm not going to shit on a beer just because it, it can't hide its fucking ABV, all right? Um, I quite like that. Um, would I buy it again? I think there are better beers at a cheaper price point than that beer. Um, in all honesty, I've got to be honest, I've got, I've got to say it as a, as a feel. I can, I can buy a better beer for three, love and hate. I know it's a different style, but a three pound, I'd buy that over. I think that's, I think that's, I have to be fair to myself and to you guys. Um, we challenge you to a hop off. Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle. Thumbs down the middle. It's not terrible. It's not a terrible beer uh, by any stretch of the imagination. I just think there are better beers at the lower price point and it's lacking that, uh, that, that bitterness that I want from the West Coast side of a mountain IPA. <sighs> but, again, go try it. If you've tried it, and you disagree with me tell me i'm talking bollocks i'm open for that you know what um i'm always good for a a little bit of debate so yeah it's it's okay it's not the worst beer it's not, again it's not the best beer it's a decent beer it's decent enough it's just there's the certain bits of it that i want if it, if it was slightly more balanced to that bitterness on the end you get a thumbs up so yeah, if you've tried it let me know if you if you um, in the comments box uh, if not, go out and get one and put your comments in the comments box. If you like, the, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like, give it a thumbs down. 
do what you want to do. It's entirely up to you. Um, there's a subscribe button as well if you'd like to help the channel out, because it does help the channel with the subscriptions. It doesn't cost anything. It's free. It's free for you. It's free for me. It's free for everybody. Um, and me and Wanda, we'll see you very soon. Have a good day. Cheers.